Hello and welcome to this video. I am Subayil and in this video we will look at the current state of the market and we will also look at the main news for today. So let's proceed. So in today's video we will be looking at the cryptocurrency market and its current state and we will also be covering some major news for today. So Bitcoin over here is uh, trading in the range of 50 to 55 thousand dollars. Ethereum has been rising like uh, with supersonic speeds and uh, it has calmed down a little bit in the past uh, 24 hours but as we can see in the past seven days it is up 23 percent binance coin bnb is on a steady rise you know i don't think that it is going to stop anytime soon because the investors uh, who want to invest in new projects which are launched on binance smart chain on the launch pad over there they need actually a certain amount of binance bnb coins in order to participate in the new projects dogecoin is actually a joke so um let's see when it lands on mars but uh, yeah i am pretty sure that it will land there before any spacex uh, rocket uh, lands there but anyways um the tweets of elon musk have done a tremendous job over here. XRP is again on the rise and definitely Cardano, Polkadot, Uniswap and Chainlink are also increasing in price. So that was just the general overview of the market. We will now go into the detail of the current market state. So before I go ahead, I do appreciate if you kindly like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell and also select the options all so that you can get the notifications of the upcoming videos in time. On this channel, we cover hidden gems before the herd. So now let's proceed and look at the market condition and also the latest news. So as far as the current market state is concerned, as I already stated, Bitcoin is hovering between $55,000 and $50,000 and the attention right now is on Ethereum, it is on Polkadot and also at the same time on Cardano. So as the market is getting an influx of positive sentiment due to the Ethereum EIP-1559 upgrade layer 2 solutions and Uniswap version 3, Ethereum continues to rise and is expected to surpass 5,000 US dollars this summer. Polkadot ecosystem continues to grow and Cardano will soon allow programming of smart contracts on the top of it. So in coming months, we will see many interesting dynamics and many D apps which are currently on the Ethereum network, we might see them shifting over to the Cardano ecosystem, to the Solana ecosystem or else to the Polkadot ecosystem. Now Litecoin is on the rise and it has risen 34% in the past week and 7.56% in the past 24 hours. So just in case if you don't know, Litecoin is the cheapest coin on uh, PayPal and that is why many new investors are expecting expected to use it over there. And Chainlink, in my opinion, is just getting started and I think it will go to 100 US dollars within four to six weeks. In the past seven days, it is up 30% and in the past 24 hours, 7% already. So as I said, Chainlink is just getting started. Having partnerships with every major blockchain platform like Cardano, Polkadot, Ethereum, Cardia Chain and Icon, I believe that as these coins pump from time to time, as the bullish news surface about them or the dApps in their ecosystems, Chainlink will pump with them since Chainlink provides their smart contracts access to the real world data and thus enables them to create massive value across use cases and increase their adoption. So Theta has been on a meteoric rise but now it has cooled down a little bit and it is down 1.28% in the past 7 days and it is up by just 1.15% in the past 24 hours. So I made a video on one of its competitors called AOS Network. They launched their first D app called AOS Tube which works really well and has wonderful end user experience. I think that that coin can go up by 5x easily in the coming 2-3 to three months. The video which I made on AOS Network, its link is above. So if you want to watch it, you can watch it. 
So in coming months, I will be looking at Solana, Polkadot and Cardano and their ecosystems for projects that can act as asymmetric investments and are launched on launch pads so that I can minimize my risk. And that is all about the market update. And now let's proceed to the main news for today. So looking at the main news, the first main news are, will the launch of Uniswap version 3 spark a new DeFi boom? With Uniswap's total value locked, growing from 13.7 million to 8.5 billion, which is huge, isn't it? Since launching its V2 iteration, some onlookers believe the decentralized exchange version 3 launch could spark the next DeFi rally. So here are the news in detail. I will just go through the main parts. So with the total value locked in decentralized finance on Ethereum, now 89 billion, the market is eagerly waiting to see if the launch of Uniswap version 3 could be the catalyst for DeFi next bull run. Uniswap version 3 promises advanced new features and opportunities for yield generation with its launch schedule for May 5. So in my opinion, this is very huge since we know that the main problem with Uniswap version 2 was the gas fee. And with Ethereum EIP 1559 upgrade and also with many layer 2 solutions of Ethereum on the way, I believe the retail investors will flock in to buy the very low cap tokens of newly launched projects. So definitely Uniswap version 3 can spark a new DeFi boom in the current market conditions since the DeFi projects have been getting a lot of attention lately and that is evident from the amount of YouTube videos that are made on DeFi projects and also the news on major forums. And the second major news are Nasdaq stock exchange to start offering Bitcoin and Ethereum indices. So the two indices were created by Brave New Coin. Nasdaq's latest move is seen as key to introducing cryptocurrency to traditional stock market investors on Wall Street and elsewhere, thereby driving mainstream adoption. So in my opinion, this is a great development. I wonder what will trigger the next bull run. The reason is that we have BTC ETFs and we have ETPs or exchange traded products for projects like Polkadot and so on. And also with PayPal already having crypto merchant payments and a lot of other projects that bridge the world of traditional finance and decentralized finance. I think that we have run out of almost every news that can permeate into the positive sentiment of the cryptocurrency market and elevate it or increase it. So one thing is for sure that the bear market will definitely come. But what makes me wonder is that what will be the news that will take us out of that next bear market? Let me know in the comments below what you think those news or those new developments in the blockchain space will be. I will really appreciate your comments below. And these are the third major news. So. JP Morgan CEO, not interested in Bitcoin, but clients disagree. So Jamie Dimon said he is still skeptical about Bitcoin and has no real interest in it. But JP Morgan's clients are keen on cryptocurrency. So for those of you who don't know, JP Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon, who once famously labeled Bitcoin as a fraud, might have softened his stance since then, but he remains a crypto skeptic. So here is what he said. I'm not a Bitcoin reporter, Diamond said during the Wall Street Journal CEO Council Summit on Tuesday. I don't really care about Bitcoin. I have no interest in it. So my opinion about this is that it does not matter since the probability that a person who works in this sector will think positively about Bitcoin is very low. He is definitely not going to sing praises of Bitcoin. It is just like mentioning a story in the book of kids where a loin and deer are hugging each other and singing praises of each other. Indeed, common sense is not that common and that is why people give attention to such news, which people should know already by default. And here are another news. So Miami mayor says New York's plan to halt Bitcoin mining is a step in wrong direction. A bill has been introduced in New York state that proposes to halt Bitcoin mining while researchers weigh its environmental impact. So for those of you who don't know, the mayor of Miami, Francis Suarez, really likes Bitcoin. And that is why he said this. 
But in my opinion, this is neither a step in the right direction nor in the wrong direction. It is just a step. It will not stop or affect mining elsewhere in the world, isn't it? And anyways, leveraging the growth of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency adoption is something which can be done in many ways. So for example, one can use a third generation blockchain 3.0 platform to induce the benefits of blockchain in both the public and the private sectors with a proof of stake consensus based blockchain, just like Cardia Chain is doing in Vietnam. No need for mining and no need to make an issue out of this non-issue. Blockchains can have many different consensus mechanism and proof of work is just one of them. Therefore, for God's sake, don't get religiously attached to a blockchain or things like mining. Let's get over it seriously. And these news show how much bullish we are in the current market. So the Swedish crypto broker Cephilos IPO oversubscribed by 1240%. My God, that is huge. Now this is what I call bullish sentiment. And finally, here are the news which validate my point. I mean, how bullish we actually are. So just because Elon Musk likes memes and tweeted a few times about Dogecoin, the value of this thrash has gone to Mars and we might see a colony of cute dogs like these before humans on Mars because you never know. Maybe it is just a few more tweets of Elon Musk away. Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen for your time. I hope that you liked the video and you enjoyed the content in this video. In order to support the channel for free, I will be grateful if you kindly like the video, subscribe to the channel and press the bell and also select the option all so that you can get the notifications of the upcoming videos in time. And I will try my level best to produce good content like that every week. Thank you very much for your time and I will see you in the next video. Bye.